Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program Season 4. Last episode, we uh, took a new rover to Minmus, and now this episode, I think we're going to use a little plane to maybe fly around Kerbin a little bit. Pray for me. <laughs> because I am horrible at airplanes. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock some of these uh, avionics here. Let's see, air brakes. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even going to try to do... A helicopter because that was disastrous um, let's just go ahead and see what we can get done here uh, a supersonic flight and then what we got here some of the mk2 stuff uh, I want to get to the rapier engine eventually but I do need these better landing gears so I guess we'll take those. I don't know if I necessarily need them. I probably do need them. Let's go ahead and get that better landing gear. And then uh, hope that we can make an airplane that can actually fly. Alright, so let's, let's head into the space hangar. And uh, see if we can make us make ourselves an airplane here. All right, so let's go ahead and make an MK2 cockpit. And we're gonna need some uh, fuel for the MK2. It's gonna be uh, jet fuel. All right, so yeah, liquid fuel. All right. So let's put in a couple of those. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I need I need to put in some. Reaction wheels here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's put that in there. And then I'm going to pop you up just like so. Boop. There we go. And then we're going to do another one of you. There, and another one of you. And another one of you. Let's just get that like so. Okay. Now let's go to the aerodynamics. Uh, I am horrible at this. Okay. Uh, buffalo wing root. No. Buffalo winglets. No, I don't want the buffalo stuff. I want some of the regular big wing. Swept wings. Tail fin. Hmm. Huh. Structural wing tail. Let's see. There we go. Now, now we're talking. Good old fashioned swept back wings here. Now let's just pop these. Alright, this may be the ugliest plane I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> I don't see how people make them look so good. I just, I know they, they spend a lot of time moving the parts and then uh, get them all synced up just right and everything, but uh, I don't have the patience for it. So, <laughs> I'm sorry that it looks so ugly. I'm about 60% sure it will fly. Um, we probably need some sort of battery storage on here and maybe even some uh, an antenna of some sort. Uh, let's just put on one of these guys here on top. Let's go ahead and get my snap get back on there. There we go. And then um, we probably need some sort of battery storage. Uh, probably should have inserted it into here when I inserted that thing. I think that'll be that'll be fine. It doesn't need that much, and some sort of electric generation as well. I could put these generators in there, um, or I could just put some solar panels on the wings. <laughs> no, let's put one of these on there. Oh yeah, we're packing a lot of stuff in there now. There we go. All right, this is going to be the first plane in the Kerbal Space Program. So it's a KS... No, 
DVP <laughs> for plane. Um, we're gonna call it the what's a really ugly bird? The dodo. Okay, one. Oh yeah, the dodo. Who's gonna fly the dodo? Well, Valentina seems like she's no. We're bringing Sean out. She's ready. She's ready for this. Let's bring up Sean and Nash. If we're gonna kill Kerbals, we're gonna kill two Kerbals. All right. So I think this will fly-ish. Maybe. Maybe it'll fly. I don't know. Let's give her a shot. I should have brought some parachutes in this thing. That's what I should have brought. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and throttle all the way up for our launch here. Let's just see if this thing will fly. Uh, Nash does not look very confident. Let's, let's straighten her up. Whoa, whoa. Well, that was a failure. As it is uh, speeding up, we may need to put some wheels on the wings. I thought about doing that, and then I thought, nah, I don't, don't need to do that. So maybe if I turn SAS on, that might help too. Alright, here we go. Let's give her another shot. I'm gonna give her another shot. I don't even know how fast you have to be flying in order to get airborne. No, 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 no. Not that fast. Okay. One more time. I almost certainly am going to have to have some wheels on the wings there. What controls my yaw without tilting? I have no idea. Q and E. Come on, take off. Take off. You can do it. Take off. Take off. Don't get in the grass. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Let's get that landing gear up. Oh, yeah. Looking good, fellas. That's not too bad. Now, how are we going to land this thing? I don't know. But we'll worry about that whenever we're, we're ready to die. We're not ready to die just yet. Okay. Let's see if we can turn this thing slowly. Or maybe even quickly. And uh, fly over some terrain here. When I play War Thunder, you turn and you bank and you give the old what forward, but I don't think we have the thrust to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. It worked. Ah, I miss War Thunder. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna fly over some terrain here. I definitely should have put some parachutes on this thing. Uh, oh yeah, I can't deploy it. So, flying too fast. Okay. This thing is not very stable. It wants to nosedive. So, what does that mean? I need more wing, more lift? Is that what that means? I don't know. I don't know anything about aerodynamics. What do I know about rocketry? Nothing. I know nothing about either subject, so I am at the mercy of the Kraken. Let's just go ahead and fly out this way and see if what we can figure out here. Um, is there any, like, anything I need to do special with these or anything? Nah. Got plenty of fuel though, so that's good. This thing will not get us into orbit, that's for sure. It is slow boat. I need those rapiers in order to do that. They can use oxidizer uh, and close the intakes, the air intakes, and start using oxidizer to uh, to to burn when you're in uh, in space. So that's that, that is something I need in the future. If I want to make a cool space plane or something. Oh, I still have that one awful texture that shows the city blocks. 
Now I'm going to turn that off. That doesn't look good. I guess it doesn't look bad. Yeah, it looks kind of bad. At least until they update that. I'd like to go over there to those mountains, but uh, that's going to take forever. And I won't be able to do any time warping because uh, the plane will probably go all wonky. All wonky. That's a technical term. So our first flight has gone pretty successfully so far. I should have put some parachutes on here. I should have put a parachute in the back here. That way we could uh, slow ourselves down and uh, maybe land without dying. I have a feeling, a very strong feeling, that we're going to end up uh, just jumping out, bailing out, and uh, letting the plane crash to the ground. But, uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Maybe we won't have to. Maybe we won't have to. Ah, yay, yay. Yeah, I tried to speed up time, and it uh, did not work out well for us. Did not work out well for us. Okay. Looks like it's time to head back. <laughs> time to head back. Oh, This is kind of like driving the, uh, the rover around. A little bit tedious. A little bit tedious. All right, we are coming in for our landing. I'm trying to line it up a little better. Uh, better do a quick save. <laughs> yes, because this will probably end in disaster at least a few times. All right, so let's throttle down just a little. Oh, the familiar sound of the engine dying. I remember the very first time I fl uh, flew commercially um, and they were coming in for the landing and they were like revving the engine down like this I thought we were dying I thought it was I was like looking around in a panic like, nobody else is panicking so I guess we're okay I guess this horrible noise is normal uh oh that's not good uh oh <laughs> Put the flaps down. I don't have flaps. Well, then that's a problem. <laughs> Where's the air brakes on these things? You don't have air brakes. You didn't put them on. All right, here we go. How about brake brakes? No, don't have those either. Oh, so close to not landing. Not even close. Let's uh, turn the throttle down, and we're gonna we're gonna angle up here to try to kill some airspeed. All right, let's go ahead and push the throttle back up. See if we can turn this boat around. Yeah, stalling, stalling, not stalling like Joseph Stalin. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're coming in. Coming in hot, boys. Coming in hot. Okay. Oof. Well, that was something. <laughs> something unintentional, but uh, we made it. We made it through. Okay. I'm about to do another, another pass for it. I'm sure you're all just like like nails on the chalkboard for you guys watching me do this horrible landing here. All right, let's see if I can. I might have throttle up to turn. Let's see if I can turn this boat around one more time. I might not have went out far enough. Here we go. We're turning. We're turning. We're burning. We're turning and burning. Uh oh. Uh oh, Mayday, 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 May night. All right, come on, set her down, set her down nice and easy, nice and sleazy. 
Uh-oh. Are we gonna survive, though? Uh, let's see if the Kerb will survive. They did! Woohoo! Ah, perfect landing. <laughs> well, so much for showcasing the uh, beautiful terrain of Kerbin. And uh, so much for designing and flying an airplane. But that was fun. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, hopefully next episode we can plan a Duna mission. And uh, take some take some stuff up to Duna. Maybe make a uh, rover on Duna. That would be great. And uh, place a satellite. And whatever else we're supposed to do on Duna. A lot of, a lot of stuff. Got several things to do near, uh, near Duna now. So got a satellite. We got um, science data from space around Duna. We got the blueberries, um, a Duna stone, um, and uh, like the blueberries around Duna and the Duna stone. Cool. Um, and that's uh, that's it for Duna. So that's probably what we're gonna be doing in this next couple of episodes. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, throw me some likes, leave me some comments, and as always, subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Turbos wait by the window, vaguely looking down at their saw, and hoping possibly Jebediah will come home with some rock. From Minmus or the moon, may. Crowds gather as hunters